Whether at war or in peace, I shall always loathe you. You shall always love me? Ew! I said loathe, you idiot. Did not. Did too. You love a duck. I do not. Based on the original Chuck Jones cartoon from 1953, we have the complete series of Duck Dodgers on Blu-ray. This is a show that is honestly a childhood classic for me, a favourite of mine personally. A very estranged science fiction show, which was very short-lived. It lasted from 2003 through to 2005 for three seasons, where all 39 episodes are contained on this three-disc Blu-ray set. And in my opinion, this show really did test the boundaries as to what really could work by exercising the classic Looney Tunes formula, but adding certain elements to it and really changing the genres up ever so slightly with this very science fiction space opera style and I love what they've done especially with the lead character being of course Daffy Duck as Duck Dodgers himself Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century retaining elements of the classic animated shorts such as Porky Pig being the space cadet and the ongoing rivalry between Earth and Mars solidified with there being a constant conflict between Dodgers himself and Marvin the Martian playing the role of X2. Overall the show is very quippy with not only its dialogue but its writing style and the way certain elements of the series really do hold up incredibly well, especially when re-watching it through adult eyes, looking back on the show with fond memories. And the series in itself I always found very fun and engaging, especially the intro sequence. The ever-iconic vocals of Tom Jones really have stuck with me from this over the years, with the intro performed by the Flaming Lips, making for an excellent combination, and that is something that really has stuck with me, and I'm sure many others who look back on this show with fond memories regardless. And so in this video we shall be doing an unboxing looking at the Blu-ray set itself, but I feel it's worth going into each season, not necessarily looking at every single story which would become excessive, but I would love to mention personal favourites and noteworthy episodes that really have stood out and I feel are definitely worth revisiting for those that may want to go back and revisit this series as well. Here's a look at the cover art for this particular set where we have the main characters featured on the cover. I'm kind of surprised actually they didn't add the Martian Queen herself, Queen Tyranny. Genuinely a great character, but I love the memes surrounding her being a very inexplicable reason for people to tune into the show. Hmm, yeah, the less said about that the better, I guess. There's the spine, Duck Dodge is the complete series, of course, released by the folks over at Warner. Brief summary there of the series, and then a bonus feature is included, that being the original Chuck Jones short from the 1950s, which is a really great inclusion. To my knowledge, it's not really been upscaled as such, it looks to be very much DVD quality, but it's a great inclusion nonetheless, I just kind of wish there was more bonus features on a set like this, commentaries on the show, behind the scenes, animatics, whatever they could find. So opening this up, like I mentioned, it is a free disc set where we have a season per disc. So there's season one, season two, and season three. And then this is supplied in one of the classic Ecobox style Blu-ray cases, but in the background you can see there is, thankfully, an episode guide. So let's go through some personal favourite episodes and discuss the show in further detail. Season 1 features arguably some of the strongest episodes of the show and definitely some preferred favourites from this collection. Starting off with The Trial of Duck Dodgers, which is a really great establishing episode. It shows the somewhat unhealthy relationship between Daffy and Porky, obviously renamed to Captain Dodgers and the eager young space cadet in line with the original cartoon, where we're also introduced to Marvin the Martian known as X2, who is arguably the main antagonist relating to the conflict between Earth and Mars. And I love the originality of the Martian Queen who is introduced in this episode, who is a strange blend of overarching antagonist and, funnily enough, an on-off love interest for Duck Dodgers. Definitely something that I did not recall from when I watched this from when I was a lot younger, but definitely a fun highlight throughout these earlier episodes in particular. Shiver Me Dodgers I really liked. I always appreciate a fun uh, pirate story, and I was surprised to recognize John DiMaggio voicing the main pirate character in this episode. And seeing Marvin and Daffy forced to work together really cracked me up. Oddly, they make for such a great team when paired together, even though they are supposed to be sworn enemies. The Green Loonton is surprisingly the highest rated episode of the series, utilizing elements of the DC Universe, 
where Dodgers goes to collect his suit from the dry cleaners and accidentally ends up leaving with a Green Lantern costume. And so impersonating a Green Lantern, Dodgers is able to save the rest of the Green Lantern superhero group from Sinestro, which had overall some really great one-liners and a slightly unfortunate end for Daffy himself, where he's left behind stranded, which really did get me. Although he's such an innocent character, I do love seeing him suffer for his actions at the best of times. You can't leave me here! To love a duck reveals why the Martian Queen has an unusual crush on Duck Dodgers, where he's forced into entering a series of trials to test whether he's worthy enough to become the King of Mars. And seeing Marvin sabotage this was a great storyline, adding to some hilarious elements in their rivalry, which I really enjoyed. Hooray for Hollywood Planet was one of my personal favorites for its satirical look at the film industry, where Dodgers is hired to star in a movie all about him, where the crew involved are instead hired by Marvin the Martian to murder Dodgers. The Queen is Wild I really liked for its ridiculous escalation of emotional drama between Dodgers and the Martian Queen looking at previous episodes, and how in a previous episode, Dodgers leaves her at the altar, refusing to marry her thanks to Marvin's interference, and this episode shows her revenge plot, kidnapping the cadet in an attempt to face off with Dodgers himself. And one of the last episodes on Series 1, Enemy Yours, a very funny conclusion for Season 1, where Dodgers is made to feel jealous and inadequate when it's revealed that Marvin has a different arch enemy in the form of Dr. Woe. And I love the character design for him in particular, and as ever, the dialogue is very quippy and engaging throughout, leading to some very funny moments, and was definitely a memorable season finale to see Dodgers jealous for once. Season 2's opening episode, Pig Planner, really hooked me because of the instantly recognisable voiceover and mimicked character designs of Yakko, Wacko and Dot from the Animaniacs, where this episode guest stars, of course, Rob Paulson, Jess Harnell and Trez McNeil, where the cadet is looking after his nephews and niece and Dodgers keeps them in check by telling them a fantasy story about himself. Talent show A Go Go I really liked, where Dodgers ends up stealing the voice, ironically, of Tom Jones to compete in a talent competition. And I loved the vocals from the Queen of Mars, who takes part in the same competition. Also, some incredible moments throughout this episode for the voice performances in particular. The third, I would say, is one of the highlights, really, of the entire series, and another unusual episode where Marvin and Duck Dodgers are forced into working together, where a mysterious virus rapidly spreads throughout the galaxy, literally turning people into Elmer Thud. And the main symptom of this becomes a mutation of the face with his derpy kind of look, and constantly laughing in his very unique way, shall we put it politely. Shouldn't I be hunting rabbits? And Dodgers, the cadet, and Marvin are bizarrely immune to the FUD virus, and so they work together to infiltrate and stop this from spreading further. A very fun episode, definitely one of the ones that really stuck out for me personally on rewatch. Samurai Quack was a very impressive parody of the Samurai Jack TV series, and this was done in a very similar art style to the original show with the involvement from Gendy Tartakovsky himself where Dodgers is dressed exactly like Samurai Jack, facing a villain inspired by Aku, voiced by Japanese-American voice actor Mako. And I absolutely love the 2D art style utilized throughout to make the parody all the more obvious. Some very creative visuals, and definitely lived up to the original series of Samurai Jack. Season 2 has an excellent two-part finale episode, Of Course You Know, This Means War and Peace. When a peace treaty is due to be signed between Earth and Mars, Dodgers goes out of his way to instead sabotage the signing. From his selfish point of view, he thinks of this peace between the worlds, he'll essentially be out of a job, but instead, from being in the right place at the right time conveniently, he accidentally uncovers a plot from the Martians where one of their own is set to betray the Martian Queen and use the signing as an opportunity to take over Earth. Overall, a fantastic extended story once again, seeing Dodgers, the Cadet, and Marvin the Martian working together, plus blending the 3D animation overlaid onto the usual 2D animation looked fantastic. Season 3, I felt, was a weaker collection of episodes, but is still good. It does progressively get better as the season unfolds, and continues to deliver on various creative sci-fi themes with improved storytelling. 
And speaking of the storytelling, I really like how it manages to adapt certain themes that are still relevant to this day, such as internet scams as an example in the episode Win, Lose or Duck, which I really enjoyed where all the main characters are literally dragged into the internet and forced to compete and fight one another. The six wazillion dollar duck was one of my personal favourites, which got kinda crazy, where Dodgers is given cybernetic upgrades parodying classic science fiction television, such as The Six Million Dollar Man and The Bionic Woman. My favourite episode from season three was a lame duck mind, by far one of the most imaginative, and honestly quite a freaky storyline, where we enter the mind of Duck Dodgers, where the main characters are trying to retrieve stolen military codes, which are placed in his mind against his will. And his mind is somewhere you do not want to be. The zany, bizarre visuals throughout really are just something else in their own right. And I love how we meet personified versions of the id, ego, and superego, some of which are made to be very literal compared to the actual Freudian theory. That's going to do it for this unboxing slash review looking at the complete series of Duck Dodgers on Blu-ray. I hope you did enjoy. Overall, a very unexpected release from the folks over at Warner, but for sure one that I'm very much appreciative of. And the series in itself, looking back on it, overall this show really does hold up incredibly well to my surprise. The voice acting in particular is something I do highly commend, but the visuals, the animation, blending 2D and 3D animated stuff, likewise with the levels of storytelling, the adult humour they've managed to squeeze in there which would have gone over your head when watching this one a lot younger, there's a lot to appreciate from this show so it's definitely something that I would recommend looking back at or checking out to begin with if you've not already done so. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave me a like down below. Let me know in the comments, have you checked out Duck Dodgers? What did you think of the series? I always love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And for more content, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, DVD Review Studios. Are you threatening me?